Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube cooking channel which is found on YouTube under Kenny Tut. Again, if you haven't subscribed and you like cooking, there's recipes uh, that I'm sharing. If you want the recipes, just go to www.pitchrestaurant.co.uk um, and you'll find a section cooking at home where you'll find all the recipes there. Have a little look and uh, see what takes your fancy. So what are we doing today? I'll tell you what we're doing guys. We're making mayo, mayonnaise, um, the classic condiment. It's up there with the with the kings. It's up there with ketchup and mustard and all of those wonderful things and shracha. Um, I think it took over uh, being the sort of the leading number one bought condiment in the world. That's pretty impressive uh, for a bit of um, creamy white sauce. Anyway, just to prove my love of mayonnaise, I'm just going to show you a little clip. So uh, run the video. Yep, that was me dancing with a large tub of mayo in Puerto Rico on my honeymoon for no particular reason other than the fact that I love it. Uh, but anyway, enough of that old nonsense. Let's see how we make uh, mayonnaise. Uh, you need the yolk of an egg. You need some Dijon mustard is great. It's an emulsifier. It's gonna help bring it all together. Uh, we've got a touch of lemon juice, squeeze of lemon juice in there. About a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, which, which just gives it a bit of acidity and helps with the whole emulsification process. Um, and then a nice bit of seasoning as well. A touch of uh, the, the old sea salt there. Let's crack on, let's make some mayonnaise. So you can do it in a blender. Um, I'm gonna do it the old school way, just in a bowl. It's really, really straightforward, save on the washing up. But it can be done in a blender just as well. It's a lot quicker and it takes away a bit of the elbow grease. But I like the reward um, of, of putting a bit of, bit of work in. So basically, top tip, it, with your bowl, get yourself a mixing bowl, a nice thick dab tea towel there. And what that'll do is that'll hold your bowl a little bit. And it'll mean that when you're pouring the oil, you can whisk. Um, as well. Sorry, that was the other ingredient, oil. So in terms of the oil, we've got a nice uh, neutral oil. This is rapeseed. You can use uh, vegetable oil, sunflower oil. You can use a nice light olive oil, but just stay away from the stuff that's sort of overpowering, so extra virgin olive oil, peanut oil, that sort of stuff. It'd just be too much in terms of the, uh, the flavor. A nice neutral oil is what you need. Also, with the recipes uh, that you'll find at www.pitch.co.uk, I'm gonna give you some sort of variations of my top three flavored mayonnaises. So we'll come to those at the end of the video, uh, just some bits that you can do to make them a little bit more jazzy. But anyway, let's make some mayonnaise, simple as. So you've got an egg, um, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna separate the uh, yolk from the, um, from the white. So just give it a little crack um, and then just get rid of the, the white um, in there. Lovely, get rid of all the white and then pop that in your bowl. And you only need a yolk. The emulsification sort of blooms it. You get a huge amount of volume from just the one egg yolk, okay? And then we've got a nice tablespoon of our Dijon mustard, a great emulsifier, adds a lovely flavor as well. Straight in the bowl. Then we've got a couple of other little bits. So we've got a touch of lemon juice in there. And then we have a touch of white wine vinegar. You can use cider vinegar. You could probably use some distilled malt vinegar. Just, just helps with the emulsification and it helps um, with the flavor, a little bit of acid, a little bit of sharpness as well. And then finally, but just as importantly, a good pinch of sea salt. There's a super tip though. So mayonnaise, when you make it, will last for yeah, about five days in a jar in the fridge airtight. But if you want to turbocharge that in terms of shelf life, there's something you can do. Yogurt. Open the yogurt and you'll find generally there's always that bit of liquid on the top, uh, especially with set yogurts. Now that's whey. It's where the curds and the whey have split and separated. Now that whey, take a tablespoon of that as well and pop it in there. And then when you make your mayonnaise, and it's made, leave it at room temperature for about six to eight hours, it will start a thing called lactic fermentation. And what that'll do is it'll create enzymes that almost cloak the mayonnaise in these healthy uh, enzymes that will kill off any nasty bacteria. Um, so what that does is that means you've then got a mayonnaise that'll last for one and a half to two months. It's a really cool way of doing it. That's just something that you can try with, uh, with, with yogurt. Uh, and if there's not a lot of liquid with yogurt, you can strain it. So um, you generally want like a Greek yogurt or a set yogurt and then just strain the liquid through a tea towel or through some muslin cloth. Uh, and that will just give you so much more shelf life. Okay, so in the bowl, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna start to give that a little bit. Okay, 
I'll just get it all combined together. Noisy bowl. Noisy old bowl. Right. Perfect. And then you're just going to get your oil and you're going to start to slowly but surely uh, introduce a steady stream of oil. Now, you don't, you can stop, you can stop and then whisk um, and then come back at it. But you just want it fairly slowly because you just want it to be able to come together uh, and not split. So we're just going to keep putting that in there. There we go. And already, you can see that after just a few seconds, we have something that's resembling a beautiful thick golden mayonnaise. Now the reason I've got this wonderful colour in there is because I used a nice free range egg which has got those beautiful orange uh, egg yolks as well that I, that I absolutely love. So we're going to keep adding the uh, oil, just to splash more, give it some welly. You don't have to buy it anymore, just make it. No, you can buy it. It's just so lovely. It's got a lovely, rich flavour. Let me come close and show you what we're looking for in terms of consistency. You can see that it's sticking to the whisk, lovely and thick. Now, you could add a touch of water um, or something and, and break it back down and use it as a wonderful salad dressing. A few, a few soft herbs in there, a little bit of shallot, and you've got the most wonderful dressing as well. That is mayonnaise. In terms of a few flavorings, in terms of the recipes, we've got uh, a few that I've chosen. So the first one is a rich aioli type sauce. So what you wanna do, take a garlic bulb, take the top off, wrap it in some uh, tin foil, and roast that in the oven about 180 for 30 to 40 minutes and then you'll know when it's ready because literally you can just squeeze those cloves of garlic out of its skin into a bowl mix it up touch of salt some lovely extra virgin olive oil and just work it through uh, your mayonnaise base and you've got the most wonderful aioli that you can use in your in a beautiful uh, chicken sandwich it's great with barbecued steaks whatever you, whatever takes your fancy so that's my number one Number two, chop some cornichons or some gherkins, a few capers if you've got them, if not, just use the gherkins or cornichons, and then some nice finely chopped dill and a whack of lemon zest, and you've got the most wonderful tartar sauce for the ultimate fish finger sandwich, or whatever takes your fancy, really. So that's number two. And number three is something with a bit of pun. A nice tablespoon of Korean chili paste, get some kimchi, finely chop that up, work that through it as well, and then just top with this wonderful black sesame that nuttiness. It's beautiful for dipping your dumplings in, Just put it over some soy noodles with some spring onion and a fried egg and you've got yourself the most wonderful brunch as well. Cracking, that is mayonnaise. It is as simple as that. If you want to see some more recipes then subscribe on my channel YouTube and uh, yeah take care, stay safe, stay well and enjoy. Thank you, bye bye.